Good evening to all my coffee drinkers and Tumblr users. It's our Mike, and tonight we're going to check out our old school Ardix versus our new school. So first up we have our old school matte black 30 ounce Arctic and our pearl white 30 ounce Arctic with an aftermarket handle. In our new school category of our Arctic tumblers, we're looking at our two 30 ounce navy dark blue and our teal, as you can see here. Okay, so when it comes to the cups and the differences, let's jump right into it. Uh, we'll take a look at my wife's cup. So her new one is this nice teal Arctic. These are the official Arctic handles. As you can make out right here, I say Arctic on them. Um, this straw did not come with the cup. This is a straw that we had from another uh, plastic tumbler. But as you can see, it all looks good. Paint's holding up well. Now let's take a look at her older first generation Arctic. And you can see right away here we are having some paint issues on this one. And I honestly don't know if this would have been from maybe exposure to sun too long, or if we may have put this one in the dishwasher. My guess would be a dishwasher just due to, uh, you look, you can see all the cracking in the paint on this and how it's only at the top side. And Odd Potters, it's only on one side, so primarily where she drinks from. And my wife, she would use a straw in this one as well, so she wouldn't come in contact with that too much. The rest of it though, you can see we have uh, where our paint has uh, definitely started rubbing off the enamel and clear coat. Bottom side here, the steel is still good on these. Uh, I did like the stainless steel accent on the bottom versus the new ones. They are coated completely to match the rest of your tumbler, which is nice. Still Arctic stamped on the bottom on that one. Go back to the original, Arctic stamping as well. Designed in Cypress, Texas, made in China. And does it say the same on here? Uh, no, they took all that off on there. Um, bottom side of this one's kind of a little dirty because there was the sticker that covered the bottom side. So that had come off. And on to my versions here in front of us. My matte black of the old school versus my new school. My old school here, matte black, has actually held up quite well as you can see a couple markings in it nothing too crazy this is the official arctic handle this is when it had a top and bottom section to the handle which i like a little stronger stiffer much stiffer um the only downside which i must complain about arctic still no rubber on the inside of their handle to keep you from rubbing too much on your cup so over time you will put scratches into them as you can see the mine has held up quite well it is a nice flat smooth matte black with the silver bottom obviously unpainted stainless steel my top lid here is different it is an aftermarket lid pull that off let's look at the inside of the cup inside still looks like it is brand new no uh crazy wear no dyes from coffee stainage none of that stuff it held up well um comparing old school Arctic to new school uh what i can tell you from my experience with hot drinks is that the new school arctics do way better with handling the heat uh, these two being the new school these two being the old school these ones do great with cold drinks uh, no problem i could never get my coffee to last more than two hours uh, hot inside my stainless steel versus uh my stainless steel slash matte black versus my new arctic here this 30 ounce uh, navy blue this one has held up really well with coffee i put in a cup and these are the lids that come with these officially by the way these are not accessories they don't cost you more if you want to add these on um the uh handles cost you extra but they're only two three dollars so that's not bad like i said it is has doesn't have as much play to it as you'd think but it's nice to have that open end so if you need to hook this on something you can but um, as you can see, mine's not doing bad, though. It's definitely not too scratched up for as much time as I have used this already. 
and uh, I still have my decal on the bottom here. I've not taken that off. But yeah, don't place these in freezers and don't put them in dishwashers. If you want to keep your paint looking as good as you can, I'd recommend uh, not doing those. Just hand wash it. Hand wash it the way it should be done. And then on the inside, obviously, looking new still. Even after me using this every day for like, what, it's been a couple weeks at least now. Since I originally uploaded the video about these new ones. Um, yeah, back to how long hot coffee has lasted in the new models. I could easily say uh, mine has lasted from about 5, 15, 5, 30 in the morning all the way till, I want to say about 11. And by 11 o'clock, it would be lukewarm, maybe just a little warm, not too, too warm. Uh, definitely not in the hot range, but that is quite a ways, quite a bit of time, especially coming from uh, using a Yeti. And going to Arctic. So, if you guys are interested in Arctic, though, uh, definitely go check out their website. I will include it in the video description below. And uh, honestly, go through their website and order them because if you're going to order two or three things, you'll at least get some free shipping. If it's going to be two or three tumblers or maybe two tumblers in a bottle, uh, you get past a certain point of spending, you'll get free shipping on it, free tracking, all that stuff. Uh, if you look up Arctic, either on Amazon or eBay, you will find these cups, the new models, and maybe even the old models. Um, you'll find them at a decent price. The new models, you definitely won't get any cheaper than what you can get from on their official website. So keep that in mind. But uh, if you need something in a quick and you want it within a couple days, then yeah, order it off Amazon. Get it in that two-day shipping. You'll be good to go. So in conclusion, like I said... The new models are an improvement and an upgrade over the olds. So if you want to get something in this color range or all the other colors they have to offer, go to them, check it out. I promise you, you'll enjoy it and it will be a good investment. So if you like this video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.